Welcome you all to another video on surgical MCQ discussions. In this video, we are going to start the discussion of management of breast cancer. While talking about the management of breast cancer, first we need to know about how we can categorize the patient to discuss about the management options. So there are a few classification methods. But for the management, we can categorize the patient initially as metastatic and non-metastatic. So if the patient with breast carcinoma has metastasis, then the management differs from non-metastatic breast carcinoma. And the non-metastatic group, we can categorize it as non-invasive or invasive. Non-invasive means usually ductal carcinoma in situ, the in situ carcinomas and then invasive carcinoma we can categorize it as early or locally advanced breast carcinoma. How can we categorize the patient as early breast carcinoma? There is a staging classification, the stage 1, 2, 3, 4 like and according to that we can categorize so first let's look at that staging before understanding this early and locally advanced breast carcinoma. Before talking about the stages 1, 2, 3 or 4 we need to have an idea about the TNM classification. TNM classification includes T is tumor size N is nodal metastasis and M is distance metastasis. The tumor size can be categorized as T0 to T4. It is called T0 when no primary tumor is detected. So the patient may have distance metastasis suggestive of the origin from breast carcinoma but no primary tumor. Then it is T0. TIS means when tumor only in breast ducts or lobules that is the carcinoma in situ. It is T1 when the primary tumor size is less than 2 cm. It is T2 when the primary tumor size from 2 to 5 cm. It is T3 when the primary tumor size more than 5 cm. It is T4 when regardless of the size of the tumor when it invade the chest wall or the skin. So the patient may have ulceration of the skin or skin nodules then it is T4. Like that we can categorize the tumor according to the tumor size that is the T classification. N is nodal metastasis. N0 is when no lymph nodes are affected. N1 when there are metastasis to 1 to 3 axillary lymph nodes. N2 is when there are metastases to 4 to 9 axillary lymph nodes. N3 is when there are metastases to more than 10 axillary lymph nodes and there are metastases in infra or supracaricular lymph nodes as well. That is the nodal classification. The M classification is when there is no evidence of cancer metastasis, then it is M0. When there is evidence of metastasis to the distance organs, then we call it M1. So this is the TNM classification of breast cancer staging. Then we can look at the other staging system according to this classification. Now look at this table. In this table, there are several stages where the breast cancer is classified into. Mainly there are four stages, stage 1, 2, 3 and 4. The stages 1, 2 and 3 have been further classified into A and B. So stage 1A means when the tumor's primary tumor size is less than 20 millimeters, that, that is less than 2 centimeters, you know that is a T1 lesion. 
and no nodal metastasis so other metastasis so it, then it is stage 1a stage 1b means when the primary tumor size is less than 2 cm so it is t2 and when sometimes there can be nodal micrometastasis so then it is stage 1b usually for the easiness of remember we remember stage 1 as t1 lesions without any nodal involvement or metastasis stage 2a is when the primary tumor size is less than 2 cm and less than 3 axillary lymph node involvement is there so then it is t1 n1 lesion or else when the primary tumor size from 2 to 5 cm then it is t2 and no nodal involvement so stage 2a is t1 n1 or t2 n0 stage 2b is when the primary tumor size more than 2 cm and less than 5 cm with nodal involvement of n1 then it is t2 n1 or else if the primary tumor size more than 5 cm and no nodal involvement so then it is t3 n node so t2 n1 or t3 n node is included in stage 3b and stage 3a is when the primary tumor size is less than 5 cm and n2 involvement is there so when then it is t2 n2 or else when it is more than 5 cm and n1 or n2 involvement is there then it is t3 n1 or t3 n2 so that is stage 3a stage 3b is when the primary tumor is extended to the chest wall or the skin you know that then it is t4 with any nodal involvement from n0 to n2 then it is stage 3b stage 3c is any size of tumor with n3 involvement more than 10 axillary lymph node involvement with any size of tumor then it is stage 3c stage 4 is any size of tumor with any nodal involvement with detected distance metastasis it is better if you can remember this classification however if you can remember how can we categorize the patients as early or locally advanced breast cancer according to this classification then that is enough to answer the questions so let's see how we can do that previously i mentioned that we can classify the patients as metastatic or non-metastatic and non-metastatic ones as non-invasive or invasive then invasive ones as early or locally advanced so how we can categorize the patient as early early is stage 1 stage 2a or some part of stage 2b including t2 n1 this is a bit difficult to remember but how we can easily remember this so this early breast cancer includes those the staging less than t2 n1 so when the breast lesion is less than 5 centimeters in size and nodal metastasis in normal of less than 3 nodes then it is early breast cancer so if you can remember this it is enough if a breast lesion is less than 5 centimeters and nodal metastasis of less than 3 nodes are there then that is early breast cancer so you need to remember this part Then how can we categorize patient as locally advanced breast cancer? Locally advanced breast cancer include stage 2b including T3 and not stage 3a and stage 3b. So in a summary, if the tumor size more or equal than T3, 
so you know that then it is more than 5 centimeters and also if it is more or equal than n2 then it is nodal metastasis more than 3 nodes so in these two occasions we can call those patients as having locally advanced breast cancer so in a summary we can classify the patients as having metastatic or non-metastatic breast cancer non-metastatic ones can be categorized as invasive or non-invasive invasive ones if they are less than 5 centimeters and involving axillary lymph nodes less than 3 then it is early breast cancer if the primary tumor size is more than 5 centimeters and nodal metastasis to more than 3 nodes then it is locally advanced breast cancer and also regardless of the tumor size if it invades the skin or the chest wall then it is also locally advanced breast cancer now you know how to categorize the patients to decide on the management so let's look at few examples how we can apply this knowledge here is a single best answer type question. I selected this question not to tell you the answer but to show you that the importance of classification of breast carcinoma in answering these questions. This question says a 45 year old lady presented with 3 cm breast lump in the left upper quadrant FNAC found to be 5 there's no palpable axillary lymph nodes, mammogram of the bilateral base normal. No clinical or imaging suggestive of metastasis. Which of the following is are true regarding management? So before deciding on the management, we need to know which category these patients fall into. Without knowing that, we cannot give any idea about the management. So this patient is having 3 cm breast lump so you know that it is T2 lesion and no palpable X-ray lymph node so clinically it is N0 and mammogram of the bilateral breast normal so this staging can be done either clinically or radiologically the radiological staging although it is T0 Clinically, this is a T2 lesion. So, according to the clinical assessment, this patient is having T2 N0 M0 lesion. So, you know that this is early breast cancer. Then, let's discuss in a future video how we can manage early breast cancer. This is another question. It says, 45 year old woman present with a breast lump in right upper quadrant of the right breast for 2 months, it is 3 cm in diameter and hard, axillary lymph nodes were palpable, ultrasound breast suggestive of malignancy of breast, what is the next step for in management? In this patient also, she is having 3 cm breast lump, so it is T2 and axillary lymph nodes were palpable, however it has not mentioned about the number of lymph nodes, so it, either it could be N1, N2 or anything since it is not given in the equation however if the axillary lymph node involvement is n1 then this is t2 n1 so less than 5 cm lump with n1 involvement less than 3 axillary lymph node involvement is early breast cancer so then we can manage as early breast cancer if the axillary lymph node more than 3 involved then it is locally advanced breast cancer so after knowing the classification then while reading the question you can categorize the patient in which category this patient is falling into then it is easy to answer the questions this question is a bit a different question 35 year old female with T4 N1 MX breast carcinoma what is the most appropriate initial step of management so you need to know the TNM classification T4 is when the primary tumor is invaded to the skin or the chest wall 
and D1 is when axial lymph node involvement is there less than 3. Here Mx is we don't know about the metastatic status because it has not been completely evaluated. Anyway, if the metastases are not there then this is locally advanced breast cancer. Definitely this is not early breast cancer. If the metastases are there then it is advanced breast cancer or metastatic breast cancer. Like that, while looking at the question, you can classify the patients mentioned in the question. So, in future videos, we will discuss how we can manage metastatic breast carcinoma, how we can manage non-metastatic non-invasive breast carcinoma, and how we can manage non-metastatic invasive breast carcinoma. In that, we will discuss separately how we can manage non-metastatic invasive early breast carcinoma and how we can manage non-metastatic invasive locally advanced breast carcinoma. When you know about this classification and appropriate management, then it is easy to answer the questions.